A Monrad or Swiss system is a competition format that is gathering momentum in smaller club competitions where the participation of all the competitors over the entirety of the tournament is an important aspect. I travelled to Brazil after entering a knockout tournament. I lost in the first round and my competition was over in less than 20 minutes of playing time. I had to make a 17,000 kilometer round trip to participate. I wish the competition had been a Monrad or Swiss. A Swiss system or Monrad tournament is a non-eliminating tournament format that features a fixed number of rounds of competition. The system was originally used in chess tournaments, but now has been adopted by many other sports. I will give you one example, but there are other similar designs where players change numbers, but in principle all the different formats and designs are all based on the same principle. Unlike leagues or other competition formats where all pairings are known from the beginning of the competition, in a Swiss system, the match pairing for each round is only complete after the previous round has finalised and the second round is completely dependent on the first round results. The Swiss system is used for competitions in which there are too many entrants for a full round robin or league where everybody plays everybody to be feasible and eliminating any competitors before the end of the tournament is undesirable. So how does a Monrad work? The perfect Monrad or Swiss system will have 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, etc. in the first round. All games should be played under the same rules, for example the best of five and rally points in squash and at the competition designated time and venue. All results must be given to the event organiser once the match has been completed who will then transfer it onto the draw sheet. The winners and losers of the first round all move into the second round into certain positions. The positions are predetermined and related to the outcome of the game. The process continues on through all the rounds. In the final round, the top two players in the draw will be playing off for first place. The next two players for third, the next two for fifth, etc. So let's have a quick look at a Monrad in action. This Monrad has eight quite famous participants. That means all players will play three matches. If it were 16, they would play four. If it were 32 in the first round, they would play five, etc. The first round matches are as follows, and there is no seeding in this event. Naomi Tokyo plays Shaquille Oatmeal in match one. Ronda Southsea versus Chris Broom in match two. Alison Cat versus Roger Setzer in match three. And the final match in the first round is between Saturn Williams and Tyson Angry. So the winners of the first four matches go into the specific parts of the draw. These are the top four positions. The losers will populate the lower half of round two in the draw. So these are the results. Naomi Tokyo beat Shaquille Oatmeal. Chris Broom beat Ronda Southsea. Roger said to her, beat Alison Katz. And Saturn Williams overcame Tyson Angry. So... The second round matches get played and have produced some very interesting results. Naomi Tokyo beat Chris Froome. Roger said to her, beat Saturn Williams. Shaquille Oatmeal beat Ronda Southsea. And Tyson Angry loses his second match against Alison Cat. Round three is the final round and this will determine everybody's final finishing position in the tournament. Naomi Tokyo will play Roger said to her in a mouth-watering match for first place. Match 10 determines third place, match 11, fifth place, and match 12 is for the wooden spoon. So let's check that result of the mouth-watering match. Well, Naomi Tokyo beat, Roger said to her, and won this Monrad. Roger finishes second overall. Saturn Williams beat Chris Broom for third. Shaquille Oatmeal finishes the competition strong and is fifth. Ronda Southsea, unfortunately, loses her final match against Tyson Angry. And even though she has lost all three of her Monrad matches, she does at least win the wooden spoon. So let me tell you about some of the practicalities of the Monrad competition. Unlike some tournaments who don't need an organiser and administration, the Monrad or Swiss competition needs a competition organiser. There is potential for things to go wrong in the draw and someone fully understanding of the process should complete the results sheet. 
Once participants are familiarised with its format, it's a very simple tournament to run. However, be ready for many questions beforehand from those unfamiliar or new to it. There is a set start and finish to the competition, and indeed, games can be given specific times and dates for completion. Be very careful of the scheduling. Remember your contestants, your participants are human and need rest. Some games might finish early and you can bring forward a match if both participants are ready and happy to play. The first round matches and their participants and timings of those matches can be communicated in advance. But after that, there is no way of guaranteeing the participants' next two matches. Players will have to commit to playing matches at designated times. As I said before, the significant benefit of this tournament is that it is non-eliminating. All players will have a set number of games and have a final position to play for. Because of this, it is a great tournament for everybody involved. The participants, the spectators, the media, the organisers, everybody. You can schedule the final matches and ensure that all of the stakeholders in the tournament are aware of the timings, especially the final. Unlike a league or round robin, if you have lost your first game, then you are unable to win the competition. You are effectively now playing for a lower half position. The winner of the Monrad is the person who wins all their matches. On the flip side of this, the last or bottom place player will have lost all of their matches. Another inherent benefit of the format of this tournament is that the players in the later rounds should play players or teams of more equal abilities. In the second round matches, winners play winners and losers play losers. When initially setting up the Monrad, players' names can be randomly entered into the first round or a seeding process can be used to prevent the better players meeting early in the tournament. Once the tournament has started, new players cannot normally be entered. Anyone injured or unable to play really messes up the draw. Maybe they could be replaced by somebody to keep the shape of the competition, but the recent Momrad squash tournaments I entered saw the later game significantly affected by injuries and fatigue to players. So that's about it for the Momrad. Why not give it a go and organise one for yourself? Let me know how you got on in the comments below. Check out all of my other films about sports competition formats. Just one last thing for me to say is that if you have enjoyed this film, please give it a like and also subscribe because it really helps the channel. I'm constantly making sports related films, so please come back and see me soon. If you are interested in sport, you really should buy the book, which has thousands of the best sports facts and jokes. It's available online and in all good bookshops.